Hey, all right, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is episode 76, Worksheet Navigation. All right, hey, this question sent in by D.B. Rutherford. Hey, let me, let me make the uh, worksheet a little bit smaller here. Look at this, he has tab sales report for January, February, March, April, May, and he wants a quick way to navigate from uh, uh, the menu here to the other tab. So I'm going to throw this one over to Mike first and uh, have Mike solve it. We'll come back and see if I can find a different way. Mike, show us what you've got. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, okay, so we need, in essence, a table of contents, but we want to click on any one of these and jump over the sheet. So if I click on this uh, march right here, I need to jump over to this sheet. All right, well, hyperlinks can do that. Now, usually we think of hyperlinks like going to a website, but no way. Now, insert hyperlink. I'm not sure I even know where it is. There's a hyperlink, but the keyboard is Control K. Now, usually we have an existing file. Oh, so you could actually do a hyperlink to another file and open up another like sales report or a web page. You just simply type right here. Place in this document is what we want. And look at that. It, it is looking and can see all of the sheets down here. So A1, that's the default. You can change that. I'm going to click on January and then click OK. Now, if I click on this, boom, it jumps over to A1 January. I'm going to come back to the menu. Now, if I have a list like this, I know how to do it manually. I don't know any uh, fancy other way to do this, but I can speed this up with keyboard shortcuts. Control K. Now, notice my cursor's right there. If I hit Tab, I get to the menu and then I can down arrow. Once I get to February, notice this is kind of uh, highlighted with a dark shadow. That means I can hit Enter. And then I hit Enter again. Are you ready? Control K. Tab, arrow, arrow, arrow down to March, enter, enter. Control K, tab, arrow down to April, enter, enter. Control K, tab, a bunch of arrows, enter, enter. Control K, tab, and then I go down to June. Control, oh, I forgot two enters. Control K, tab, and then down to July. Let's see if I can do this, enter, enter. Control K, Tab down to August, enter, enter, control K, tab, enter, enter, control K, tab, almost done here, enter, enter, control K, tab, down to November, control K, tab, all the way down, and then enter. Whoops, I did that wrong there. Control K, I have to edit it. I clicked on the wrong one, so I need to go not December, but November. So you can edit them if you make a mistake. And then finally, Control K, Tab, and then all the way down to the bottom. All right, now let's see if this works. So I'm going to click on April, and sure enough, I'm on April. Click on September. Now, what I would like to do is have a link to go back to the menu. So I'm going to go over to January, and I'd love to highlight all the sheets and do it at once, but it doesn't let me do that. So I'm going to click here and control K, select A1 menu, click OK. Now, I'm going to copy that. Whoops, did I do that right? Control K. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it, I didn't do any friendly text. I'm going to change the text up here. I'm going to type something like, oh, back to menu. Now, I'm going to copy this cell, dance and dance, march around. I'm going to click on February. I'm going to scroll over, and before I click on December, I'm holding Shift to highlight all the cells. And then I'm going to click in A11 and Control V. So I've, pasted, I've copied and pasted that hyperlink. So on any sheet, I should be able to just boop back to this. And then I'm going to click on this November. It goes to November and back to Menu. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike, that was excellent. I love the keyboard shortcuts to speed that up. Also, when group mode wouldn't let you do insert hyperlink, uh, very clever putting the hyperlink back to menu on January and then copying and pasting while you're in group mode. Very, very clever. Well, of course, I'm going to do uh, VBA here. Uh, and you'll notice back in my worksheet, I got rid of all of the sheet names. I just want to be able to build those on the fly. Um, and I'm going to use my one of my favorite loops here. It's called the for each loop. 
uh, for each WS. WS is a variable name in active workbook worksheets. That's going to go through every single worksheet that it happens to find today. So this is very general purpose. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever you happen to run into, checks to make sure that this uh, WS dot name is not equal to menu. I don't need a link to the menu on the menu. If it's not, I go activate the menu uh, and then select uh, row three plus a counter. And you'll see the counter starts out at zero. So the first worksheet it finds is going to be in row three and then row four and then row five. We're bumping the uh, counter up uh, down here. Uh, select that cell. Usually in my macros, I don't like to select cells, but the macro recorder, uh, you know, just gave me code, which it always does, uh, that had a selection. And here we are, it's five o'clock and too lazy to go the other way, but this is going to work. Uh, so in our uh, our menu hyperlinks.add, the anchor is the selected cell. Uh, it's funny that uh, address is for going out to another web page. We're not doing that. We're just going to the name of the worksheet, January, uh, exclamation point A1, and then putting January as the text to display. That's what the dialog box calls that friendly text. And you know, then uh, very nice that where you put the back to menu there. I also added that to the macro. So we go out and select January. And then I selected uh, row one, uh, G. G1 is where I always put my back. It's up in the upper right hand corner there. And ws.hyperlinks.add. You can see I just copied this down and forgot to change that around. Uh, the anchor is going to be the selected cell. And again, this time we're always going back to B3. Text to display is back to menu. Finally, uh, increment the counter. And then, uh, and if, let's get that up there. Next worksheet. So that would go up and do the next one. And then finally ends up. Let's just uh, give it a quick little run here. Bam, there it is. Now I'm going to take a look at our code. So there's back to menu uh, on December. When we click that, we go back and you see that all of our hyperlinks are there. Now, what's really nice about this, I'm going to go through and, and clear these all EAA. And I'm going to add some new worksheets in. Just make a few copies. And then we'll run that code again. I'll do Alt F8 and add hyperlinks run. Uh, you see that even though I've added some new worksheets in here, I'm sorry, back to menu, that's a great way to go. Uh, those automatically show up in the list. So very uh, general way of, of adding the hyperlinks uh, with VBA there. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.